tonight. We have a great matchup between Philip Adams and John Henning. Uh, I'm under to understand that you've actually put in some time with uh, John Henning here. Yeah, I, I trained with John for about about six months back in the day, back when we were at Body Quest. Um, he's a southpaw. He likes to strike. He's got um, he's got that great straight uh, left down the pipe. Um, he's actually training with Dennis and Piva now. He's got a, he's got a great Muay Thai school. He actually had a, a Muay Thai fight for his uh, last last fight in the USFFC. He won that. Um, knees to the body. He's got he's got great Muay Thai, great stand up, and I know that's what he wants to do in this fight is uh, keep it standing and. I see, I see John doing well tonight. So it sounds like it would be a good idea for Adams to try and get the fight to the ground. Yeah. Or the uh, stand-up onslaught that you saw. Yeah, because right he's got that tricky southpaw style. All right, they come out of their corners. No glove touch. Yeah, there we go. I know John likes to be pretty loose, you know, sometimes he drops his hands, he's got good head movement. Look to see some of that. Good job, good job, nice and easy. And oh, Adams hit a good hard one there coming in. Instantly goes to the kicks, and he still looks a little wobbly here. Yeah, John's very patient. He's going to take his time, he's going to pick his shots. You know, which is something I've seen him uh, kind of evolve from. I've seen, I saw his fight with uh, Kyle Shano, and he was just kind of charged forward, barreling forward and brawling. And uh, he lost that fight because Shano uh, took him down over and over again off of his punches, and he looks like he's developed a lot since then. Yeah, absolutely. That, that fight still picks his brain every time. Every time I speak to him, he, he knows his mistakes, and uh, looks like he's not going to do that again. Yeah, he this definitely he had a job several times in that fight. I'm just waiting for that left straight, left straight down the pipe any second now. He's yeah, just slightly trying to get the timing of Adams here. That's, you know, that's all he's doing, yep. Real calm, real relaxed. Like you said, I don't think I've seen him throw that left at all. No, not yet. I gotta say, the arms of Adams are really, really stiff here. Real hesitant, he's pulling back his strikes instead of just letting them fly. I think he, that power shot from uh, hitting early on uh, uh, changed his mind a lot. And John so far has not, not been hit. You know, he's pretty calm, relaxed, good, good body shot there. Nice left straight to the body there. I can see him doing that one or two more times and then coming upstairs with it, catch him off guard. Definitely, that's, that's a great way to set it up too. I think. Oh, 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 a big <laughs> that, that sucked. That was nice. See, see how John's getting calm like that? Yeah, that, that is, uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not, yeah, look at that. Good movement, good movement. This is some good attempts from uh, Adams. It's just uh, Henning's got such great timing and footwork. He's getting out of the range, head movement. He's in and out, picking his spots, landing punches. Yeah, great movement from John. I've never seen him look this good. He looks fantastic. He looks really good. And the more, the more he lands, the more calm he's going to get. The more calm he gets, the worse it's going to be for, for Adams. He's definitely, he's moving his head two inches to avoid a jab. He's, he's obviously really confident, and it's working for him. And those, and those are coming from the front leg as well, and those are slapping down. Those are, he's got some good power. Nice. Just picking him apart, he's just. Yeah, Adams looks a little confused as to what to do. He's still pulling back strikes. He needs to, he needs to follow through with those strikes instead of cutting them off halfway or, or halfway throwing them. Adams looks a little unhappy after that first round. He was definitely getting picked apart. Almost yeah. got dropped. He kept coming forward though. You know, he had, he had that, that, forward, that forward motion, that aggression. Um, but John, I don't think John got hit. John's smiling in the corner. <laughs> he's, uh, he's having a good time. You know. Very happy with that round, as he should be. Yep. Like you said, I, I think Adams is a little, a little bit too stiff. You know, he needs to uh, relax a little bit and move and pick some shots. Yeah. I, I, on the way in, he definitely needs some head movement coming in. Uh, Barreling forward, the head's right there. Henning is seriously just taking a step back, counter punching and popping his gloves. And he almost leveled him in that first round with a big punch like that. Yeah. Also, as well, I mean, I didn't know to have a, a southpaw in his training camp to spar with. Um, that's uh, pretty tricky when you're coming up against southpaw, especially in fight time. You know, the, 
we just seem to be just out of that range, you know. It's, it's annoying. I think that, that first punch in there and, and the fact that Adam doesn't land any strikes messed right, with his confidence a little bit. He, really has he did not pull back the strike like that. Over and over again. Yeah. He touched gloves this round, though. <laughs> that time. Adam moving the head a little bit better, but he's still hesitating, not setting up his strikes. He switches to uh, South Park. Huh? Oh, and back to Orthodox. See how he's loading up with that, uh, trying to step in with that combination. Yeah, he, needs to let, he needs to let those go big time. John is just a little too patient right now. I mean, he's not going here. He's taking no damage. He's doing a great job, but just needs to unload a little bit. Hey, oh. Oh, that'll take some confidence away. Let's go, John. Come on, John. Let loose. Go more, go more, go more. Nice jab. Nice jab. Hey. No, nice. Nice inside big, out. Big nice inside out. And well, he's looking impressive, but I really think if he poured it on right here, landed some combinations that he could put out of his way. Do, I do agree. I do agree. If he just came in. You know, he's coming in, he's throwing one strike, one strike. Follow that up. So one jab. Follow that jab. Follow that with a kick. Set up your uh, set up your cross with an inside kick. He does not want to take too many more of those leg kicks. Now we've got some serious swelling on uh, Adam's face. Yeah, those, those yeah. stiff jobs are taking a toll. You know, he's no worse, he's really worse for wear, but uh, he's still got the heart. He's still trying to move around. He hasn't given up. Absolutely. There's a lot to say for that. He's bleeding now. Oh, yeah. There's a he's lot. Actually his, his eye, yeah, is about to close up. But he's still coming. He's still, he's trying. He, he's throwing everything he's got. And he's going to want to keep those hands up at some point. Because Adam's, like we said, if, if he had broken Adam's will, yeah, you drop your hands, you mess with him. But Adam's still coming. Oh, yeah. This is what John does, though. This is what this is what John does. He needs to be more about the combos here. I'm liking that he can land these strikes at will, and not get hit. But see, this is what we need: is him to throw one, two, three yeah. punches together, absolutely string them, and he can put this guy away. Uh, he is just close up, guys. Second and a pop. See, that lead leg is a perfect setup to your straight. If you're a southpaw, you throw that. Now he's starting to. Now, now he's getting aggressive. Really. Now he's getting aggressive. Adams oh. is getting beat up real bad here. Adams, yeah, real bloody. This is not a good swelling up, up man. This is a, a tough. Oh, and he caught hitting there. That kick did not. He did not drop hitting. He did land a good right hand. Uh, the kick just set him off balance. This. John Henning goes back to his corner, yeah, 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 bouncing, he's having fun. Uh, he just got slapped by his corner, yeah, 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 you know, as bad as he is at Adam's damage here, uh, I'm saying, like you said, he's still on the combinations, and you can put this guy away. He's landing the power, the power of the strikes on the side of Adam's face right now. The frustration with the swelling and the blood. And the ring would pull it off. I may have waited out a little bit with the timing back as soon as he went around. Boom, he could put this guy away. The most consecutive shot to win a free $25 hit parlor. Have y'all seen the parlor? Have you seen the TV show parlor? Not to mention a 60. Oh, that's a gladiator. Gladiator? No, it's called Spartacus, but it's about Gladiator. Yeah, 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 I see that. Yeah, Ganagus over here. Ganagus. Two shots, two shots. Yeah, the referee checking up on Adam's own. Yeah. There's a lot to be said about his heart. Here we go. You know, he's getting mad and he's getting frustrated. His strikes aren't landing. He's getting struck in that wheel. There's a there big strike and there's just a, a big size difference as well, you know. Yeah, just look at the, the arms and the legs. I would John, say, I so much Adam bigger. should go down to 125. 
What's up, John? Yeah, well, this is this is at 145. Um, this is <laughs> this is at 145, and yeah, I think he could make 125. And um, I mean, you know, Jennings doesn't keep his hands up though, and Adam is throwing uh, the bombs here. He, he could land. It would be it would be called a fluke. It would be called a lucky shot. It's Z and A. It's a beautiful sport. Exactly. Anything can happen. I want Henning to follow after that jab. It looks great. It's landing. Follow it. Throw that straight. I feel like I'm coaching him right now. No, no, I agree. If, if Henning came in with a, just a three or four shot combination, it would be. Uh, I think it'd be it'd be over. I don't know if you noticed. Adams is dropping his hands whenever he he eats that lead leg kick there. Perfect time to follow up with his big power straight down the pipe. And, it, it, and it's not something that's happening every once in a while. It's happening constantly. Adam's face is a mess. Oh, right. He has, he has so much heart, though, to keep going after all this. That is a lot of blood. I don't think he wants to quit. Uh, he doesn't want to quit, but he may not have a choice. And the doctor looks like he's shaking his head no. Yeah, he looks mad. So this time. Andy That's it. Has called fight over at this yeah, time. He's, he's upset. That guy's got a lot of heart. I'll give him that. You know, with that kind of motivation and willpower, you never know where somebody can go. Ever. He may go back and hit the gym, work on some of his technique, his timing, uh, get the skills up there, and that willpower. You know, the sky's the limit. And now that makes John Henning a two and two. And his two losses um, back in 2010 and 2011 against the tough Kyle Shaynor and a very tough Antonio Woodard. Your winner by referee stoppage in the third round, fighting out of the red corner. Congratulations, there you go. Thank you. So, uh, you know, it, it looked like it was going to be a quick fight in the first round, a couple of good shots, but uh, the kid hung in there, pretty tough kid. So, uh, what was your game plan going into the second and third round? To be more aggressive. Um, wasn't aggressive enough for my coach, but <laughs> it was a good fight. He's a tough guy. Well, now, your, your striking was great. It looks like you warm out. As soon as you see the little cut there on left eye, did you start really working that eye? You see the little hole you went in there? Yeah, I just wanted to keep jabbing that eye. Took advantage of that eye. Now, what about the grab game? I didn't see no little takedowns there. That's something you'll be working on in the future. Oh, yeah, I work on it. I just love to strike, though. And, and, and you can tell. It looks like it, man. He punished the kid, and uh, he hung in there very tough until the referee had to stop him. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. Uh, I'm going to fight anybody there that you, uh, you want to fight coming up soon. Uh, whoever they want me to. It doesn't matter. Well, you've improved the two and two in the ring. Anybody else you want to thank out there? Just my coaches, my corners, all my training partners at East Coast Fighter, and uh, all fans and my family. Well, look, it was great to see you in the fight. We look forward to seeing you again. Nice night, General Ball, ladies and gentlemen, John the Cobra Hennigan. Almost reminded me a little bit of uh, GSP and Koscheck with the, uh, the jab there and closing up the eye, and just going straight for that, that spot. Yeah, the jab was definitely a, a very utilized tool in there. He did so much damage uh, in and out. I would like to see some uh, more combos, like we said, land a power shot, get him out of there even earlier.